And welcome back to AgriTalk as we wrap up today's broadcast from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Again, our thanks to the folks with Pridco, the Puerto Rico Industrial Development Company. And joining us again now is uh, Victor Merced, Director of Life Sciences for Pridco. Victor, we just heard from uh, Juan Santiago, the site manager for Monsanto. And I mentioned Monsanto is uh, uh, one of the companies here. There are several others. Uh, kind of give us an idea of uh, how many are already doing uh, ag bio work here in Puerto Rico. We're looking at about 10 companies. And I would say not only companies, but also states. Uh, uh, states like Illinois, Illinois Crop is here in the island. Iowa State University does research also on Puerto Rico because they see this, these advantages. And it's, it's something that is uh, very peculiar in the island because, um, you know, there's a lot of competition between the states. And in here, we have the states coming to Puerto Rico to do research. So um, they, they see an advantage right there. Other key stuff that actually brings these companies to Puerto Rico is our legal framework. Just imagine that you go to X, Y, and Z country, and you have to litigate on a foreign country, your IP. Okay, that's going to be really cumbersome. You need to know the culture of that company. Puerto Rico is U.S. It's like doing business, like you said, in Hawaii. It's like doing business in Pennsylvania. Okay, you have an IP problem, you go to federal court, not to somewhere else's court. Okay, that, that security is what actually makes this industry thrive in Puerto Rico, you know, besides other, other advantages. Okay, it's an island, so you, you know, you don't have a, a whole lot of room, and you've got, what, four million people here already? You've got companies doing business here. Is there room for more that, you, you know, you're trying to attract more? What about the space availability? Actually, there's room for more. Um, between ourselves, you know, uh, uh, not Pritco, but the Department of Commerce also handles the uh, uh, land authority. Department of Agriculture has, has also land. We also control a little bit on, on our uh, planning, what we can do, you know, on the farming land, and we try not to have the farmland compete with the uh, uh, urban development, uh, especially our very, very good lands in the south, which are where most of these companies are located. Now, let's talk more about trying to attract companies to come here. I mean, it sounds like there are a lot of advantages. So are you seeing more interest now or more companies uh, looking at Puerto Rico? Um, yes, and actually even the same companies we got here are looking at different at Puerto Rico. I would say before, Puerto Rico has looked more that they call, the industry call it stations, which is, which is the farm. Okay, we plant, we segregate, we pack a little bit, a bunch of seeds and send it away. Now we're talking to the industry, guys, with the basic science we got in Puerto Rico coming from pharmaceutical and pharmaceutical biotechnology, the basis of science is here. What about getting your feet wet and bringing down the campus? Now the scientists, let's do a lot of stuff because just imagine, you have this tray that you've been cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, and you pack your 10 seeds and have it sent to the states to be analyzed. And all of a sudden, a snowstorm hits. Okay, that seed is going to stay on a hot warehouse, rotting out until it gets shipped out. Okay, that is more common with snowstorms and hurricanes. You know, everybody tells about hurricanes in Puerto Rico. Uh, it's every one every 10 years, maybe. A snowstorm. I'm happening. glad to hear that, by the way. I, and I hope you haven't had one for a lot of for years. A lot. Well, now, wait a minute. I'm not getting a little worried. We're not near the 10 year cycle here. Are no, we? no, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what's actually happened, you know, is that. With that message in mind, we, we went to the companies and said, why don't you have that science done here? And instead of sending the seed stands, the data, a couple of companies um, heard the message and started that. So we're looking at that, at that part of the industry now because we have all of the big names, you know, and also we have contractor companies in the island that would actually, companies that are not that big, they would contract the time of them to do this kind of research. So it, it's, a very, it's a very nice mix. So what is the role of Pridco then? I mean, obviously to kind of recruit, but do you then kind of serve as a go-between, a work with a company that's interested in coming here and, and hooking them up with the right people, a Department of Ag or whoever it may be? Actually, we do a lot more than that because we have incentives package. Let's say, for example, with our handshake agreement with the Department of Agriculture is that the Department of Agriculture takes care of the farm. I will take care of the covered farm, which is the building, the labs, the uh, uh, trade analysis, the manufacturing facilities like packaging and things like that. So what happens is Puerto Rico not only has a tax, uh, tax breaks within the state taxes, but also we have incentives package that the government will be like an investor. Okay, the government would see that that um, 
uh, that industry coming, what's the benefit of that to Puerto Rico, and make an incentives package, which is a cash grant towards the job creation of that, to uh, helping the industry do the infrastructure to make it make it succeed, basically. And we know this is research. Profits here are none because everywhere research is called cost. So that that means that we, but well, we actually hire our people who would pay taxes on the island. So that's 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 the benefit there. So we've we've helped these companies in a lot of different ways. One of the key things is these funds are discretional. So um, regarding the importance of of the project they put in my hand is the amount of money I am able to uh, um, put in the industry, and it it is a grant. This is not a loan. Actually, the government puts the money in, and what we expect the company is to have the infrastructure done, get into get to work, and hire people. That's it. The bio research that's being done is very critical to these companies. So, obviously, they're looking for the right environment, the good, stable environment to do that uh, work in. They, you need to, all the things we've talked about here have to be great pluses to. Uh, attract a company in that they're not going to have to worry about some of the things they might be worried about if they went somewhere else in the world. That That's right. Puerto Rico is very stable. Let me tell you, it's like doing business in any state of the U.S., okay? I was hearing in your interview with Juan about uh, controversial uh, projects. Yes, there's going to be some controversy. Puerto Rico, but Puerto Rico has been very welcoming to this kind of industry because what happens? We don't have the footprint to make farms that can export big amounts. Let's say, for example, I would say I would be at the, at the crop that uh, it's most export in Puerto Rico is coffee. And even that is a problem because Puerto Rico, uh, in the coffee, we have a premium coffee that it has to be less, like a boutique coffee. So if you look at that in the sense of, the, of our size, we're doing a lot of agriculture of very high importance. Okay. The other thing is we are a U.S. location. That means that we are abide by U.S. rules regarding salaries, regarding wages. That put us, us against the wall, let's say, to other cheaper competitors like Central and South America. But what happens? They don't have the same IP protection. So, okay, we'll let our Central American and South American guys do the big crops to export, but we'll do the seeds, which have carry more knowledge and is able to carry the cost that we put there. Well, I'm guessing that for most people in the United States, if you say Puerto Rico, agriculture is not what comes to mind immediately, but obviously there is a lot of agriculture work being done. Yeah, there's a lot of agriculture work, but it's very specific agriculture, okay? We do a lot of crops that are for our own use, okay? Uh, right now we might be involving projects for um, sugar cane for our own rum. You know, we have, we have the largest rum distiller in the world. It's in Puerto Rico, so we're involving some projects to bring back sugar cane, but for rum. And also, this act bio part for us is very, very important, you know, because it's 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 what puts puts us in the map, in the in the term of seed and food production in the world. Victor, thank you very much. We appreciate the hospitality. We look forward to learning a lot more about it, and uh, we'll have more on our program coming up tomorrow from here in Puerto Rico. Thank you again very much. Yeah, and thank you very much, and uh, thank you to be part of the voice of the rural America. Appreciate it. Victor Merced, a Director of Life Sciences for Pritco, the Puerto Rico Industrial Development Company. More coming up on tomorrow's program as we continue our visit to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Thanks for joining us on Agritalk.